All right, bubbles are in the forecast. <laughs> so are there are plenty of tears, so stay hydrated. Uh, we've had a few showers and a few thunderstorms. They've been mainly over in the eastern part of the state. And if JR, if I could get you to move over just a little bit. <laughs> we can see right now that there's nothing coming into Columbia. The dry air is coming in. Uh, we do have a front that's coming into the area right now. That's going to push on through. It's going to dry us out for the weekend. We're going to be in good shape there. Notice there are no storm systems headed our way. And this one will create some problems for North Carolina tonight, and then it's over with. Now, it's been another hot day here in our part of the country, but the rest of the country, it's starting to warm up finally in the, in the mountain region, and particularly in the central plains, but it's still kind of hot here. Now, it did cool down a little bit in Saluda. They had some rain. It's 88 right down in Saluda and Aiken, 90 in Winsboro, 91 degrees in uh, Camden, 94 for Lexington, Columbia, Sumter, 92 degrees down in Orangeburg. Our computer model indicating that for tonight, in addition to bubbles, we'll see mostly clear skies. <laughs> and it, it's tough when you have to, to do this in front of a live audience. <laughs> Uh, but by the time we get to uh, uh, Sunday, still it's going to be mostly sunny. It's going to be a hot, dry weekend. Now, let me just kind of show you our forecast for tonight. We are expecting low temperatures tonight to get down into the mid-60s, 67 here in Columbia. Tomorrow, we're going to be seeing high temperatures in the upper 80s, low 90s, 92 degrees. But because of the dry air, it shouldn't be too bad. At least it's not 100 degrees. Now, we'll bump back up to 97 degrees, or rather 95 degrees on Sunday. Uh, but another front's going to come through. And it's going to be bringing some milder air as we go into uh, Tuesday. In fact, Tuesday will be our best day. A low temperature of 59 with a high of 89 degrees. Once we get to Wednesday, though, the humidity begins to build. The heat begins to build. It begins to seem like summer, like it should be because of the humidity. So it'll be hot and humid with a chance for some afternoon thunderstorms. <sighs> Come on in. And a chance. Bubbles. I had a chance of bubbles. Would you like to blow some bubbles? No, too? no, it's no. Party. It's your party. Oh, it's your party. It's tears. The there you go. On there you go. Come on in, Ann. Oh, wow. Come on in, Ann. Ann, are you sure it's not too late for Jim to change his mind about Oh, I'm positive. Are you I'm sure? Taking can, I'm taking we, taking can we keep him just a little longer, or are you ready to have him all to yourself now? I'm ready to have him. <laughs> <laughs> watching and says, what's the next chapter for y'all? What are you guys looking forward to? Travel. Mountain yeah. House. Travel. Well, that too. Yeah. <laughs> going to do a lot of traveling. I think yeah. you've got a trip in a couple of weeks, right? Yes, uh, next week. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday. Next Saturday, we are, we're off to Alaska. Alaska. Not wasting any time. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but Jim, you know, we can't say enough about how proud we are that you have called WLTX home for the past 20 years of your career. How you have sacrificed you and your wife both for the safety of the people in the Midlands. Thank you. You know, it really means a lot. You know, uh, Daniel Bonds is, is stepping and in. Afrin, Where's Afrin? Yeah, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. 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 Down ready so we can get I'm not sure the comic is large here. enough. <laughs> yeah. These are the folks that are going to be taken over for you, and, and you oh. helped train both of them. Mm -hmm. and, and you're in good, good shape, uh, good hands. These two are taking over, and two more are coming. Two. Two more. It's going to take four people to replace one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I'm hearing? No. Four people? No, but I, there are going to be some interesting things. And, and with everybody uh, coming, once they get settled, I'll give it about a month. Okay. And uh, I, I think it'll be, it'll be interesting. What is the one big weather memory you're going to carry with you from WLTX? Oh, man, there's so many. Uh. Why would you have to pick one? <laughs> um, well, obviously, it'd be the flood of 2015. Right. But, you know, think of the tornadoes that we've had. Yep. And, and even before, after, and, and I'm not even sure about Daniel. Were you here in 2008? 2008, the Ides of March. Oh, today. yes. March yes. 15th, I yes. believe, was the date. Yes. That's right. So uh, uh, that was, we had six tornadoes that day. So it was, uh, you know, those are the kinds of things I'll remember. What about the year that it snowed twice and, and everybody was just absolutely freaking out that it snowed and you predicted it right both times? Well, we, we, we had a knack for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, how about the snow in November? Yeah, that oh, was yeah. Wild. Now that, yeah that, that, that was an interesting day as well.
Jim, you right. still come to the slobs breakfast. Oh, you know, <laughs> because, because I'm retiring, I'm officially a slob now. <laughs> All right. We are what going. What is that for people? What that is? What is that? Some legendary. Some legendary yeah, old yeah, broadcasters. It's exactly what we all hope to be one day, just <laughs> exactly. like you, Jim. And it used to uh, be the SO. Well, we have to wrap <laughs> things up here on the 6 o'clock broadcast, but we're going to continue this with the 7. We'll see all of you then.